the Adventure Zone board game based on, excuse me, the famous podcast from the folks over at My Brother, My Brother and Me. Um, they started a podcast like they they randomly brought their dad onto their podcast to do like an rpg adventure and then it spiraled into this giant thing that became its own podcast and now there's a board game based on it and ambi and i have both been really excited to play this one yes this is fun um or i I assume it will be fun we haven't actually played it yet we have not played it yet this will be our first play um but ambi should i kind of give the chat a little bit of background about what um what the world is that we are going to be adventuring through yes that's a good idea okay so uh what is the bureau of balance that you might be asking yourself i'll tell you (laughs) rising above the world are two moons well just one moon actually the other one is the well-disguised headquarters of the bureau of balance Led by the director, Lucretia, the Bureau is dedicated to tracking down relics, powerful magical artifacts that could cause untold destruction if they fall into the wrong hands. The bad news? There's a lot of wrong hands out there. There are countless villains just itching to get a hold of the relics. The good news? That's you. You're heroes. And Madam Director is sure that you've got what it takes to reclaim the relics and save the world. Well, sure is a little strong. Generally optimistic, maybe? We'll see how it goes. The Bureau has three main jobs. Seekers track down the relics. They do the legwork that makes your missions possible. Reclaimers like you overcome deadly challenges to recover the relics. Regulators like Killian and Carrie Fangbattle provide support for reclaimers in the field and eliminate reclaimers that become villains themselves. If you're lucky, you might get some tips from our senior reclaimers, Magnus Burnsides, Taco, and Merle Highchurch. What keeps the common folk from panicking about all these terrifying relics and villains? Well, that's the work of the void fish. This amazing creature lives in a tank at the bureau and consumes information, wiping it from the minds of everyone in the world. By drinking void fish ichor, we're not saying it's urine, but we're not not saying it. You're able to remember things about the relics that everyone else has forgotten. Life at the Bureau of Balance isn't all dangerous adventures. Between missions, you can always relax on the fake grass lawn hang out with your annoying roommate in a stylish dome or grab a drink at the beloved local chug and squeeze and when you have loot to spare garfield the deals warlock can provide you with exactly what you need at the local fantasy costco where all your dreams come true so get ready reclaimers a new mission is just around the corner the world needs you but don't worry you're going to be amazing we're gonna be amazing we are gonna be amazing (laughs) and uh I'm uh, so Abby and I have already created our characters, but we are going to mm-hmm. need some help from the chat um, determining a couple of other pieces of information once we hop into the game. Yes. So should we go? Should we go let's go over our characters now, huh? Yeah. Let's let's um, talk about our characters. Uh, would you want to go first, or? Sure. That sounds great. All right. So here's Crystal's character. Um. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, please excuse my drawing skills. <laughs> um, so this is, uh, I am Kyber the wizard. And if anyone that wasn't in the Discord group I was in last night uh, knows, can figure out why I named my character Kyber, I will give you some kudos. Um, but uh, so as a wizard, I'm a master of magic and can use spells to defeat monsters. I am undead. I'm stronger against magical challenges because of my bunny hat, and I generally assist my teammates using my puns, which <laughs> hopefully... Hey, Gil already got it! Okay. <laughs> Good That's job, what I was Gil. thinking, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it was a fun little Easter egg um, since uh, you love Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> I have... Uh, Four strength against magic challenges, um, and I can assist uh, with a plus two, uh, which that's pretty common, I think, for all the characters. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, uh, no, oh, mine is a plus three. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm very helpful. I'm a good <laughs> character, basically. <laughs> um, all right. Yay, that's Kyber the wizard. And then I have no drawing, <laughs> but I am Rouge the rogue. <laughs> So, um, so actually on the back of the player sheets, it has, uh, like 
you can roll a d6 to help fill out the, the character information, which is what I did. So I am a rogue and a gerblin, which I guess is a small green green person. Um, small, sneaky, and green, that's what gerblins are. Uh, I'm stronger against traps, mostly because of my shady background. Uh, yes, I'm, 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 that, I'm stealthy, yes. Oh yeah, I'm that stealthy that I'm invisible. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they, this is a wanted poster, right? Like, no one knows what I look like, so they don't know what to put on the wanted poster. Um, and I generally assist my teammates using my dagger. Uh-huh. <laughs> I assist them. You, well, usually the dagger is used on someone else, not on my teammates. But I don't know. <laughs> if they need, like, amputation, I can help with that, too. I mean, you um, know, I do occasionally <laughs> get, you know, tangled up in, like, a net or something. And, yeah, your dagger comes yeah, in oh, handy. That's, that's true, yeah. Um, and then for, for my backstory, like, rouge is, like, a red color. Um, my parents were red-green colorblind. So they named me rouge because they thought I was red, but I'm actually green. So... I don't know why my parents thought I was red because all of the gerblins are apparently green colored. Well, I, I mean, I think your parents think that all gerblins are red. Oh yeah, not I mean, just... maybe. <laughs> I didn't want so. any me rouge. <laughs> but I think they knew I was going to be a rogue too, and they just want like the the letter I mean, mix up. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to do what your parents want you to do, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, or it's mm -hmm. what you were destined to be. Yes, it was. It was. All right. <laughs> so. Um, um, so we have our names up on the screen so you can see in like our stats. Oh, I forgot to say, I, I have strength against trap challenges and I get um, plus three assist before the die roll. So I can help people too with my dagger. Um, and since we are playing a two player game, we have kind of a little bit of an NPC yeah. support character as well. Um, yes. The priest is our That's support insane. character and he uses cards from the surprise deck which is a this is a little bit different than how the game would play out if you were playing with more than two people yes um <laughs> rouge is in that picture just so good at stealth you can't see her yes yep i was thinking of drawing it at some point but yeah i i think just saying that um the picture is of rouge it's just stealthed yeah it makes sense <laughs> so yeah that, ma that makes sense yeah, it's not that I was too lazy to draw a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have to do to win the game? Uh, we have to complete two of our challenge decks, one of yes. which has to be the relic deck. So the ring deck has um, yeah, to be... Yeah, we have to find the ring. And then we one of the other two decks. The train deck is kind of going to be our uh, timer, timer mm -hmm. so to speak, because we're going to be discarding cards from that deck, but let's, rather than me getting ahead of ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, Ambi, do you want to kind of go over what our three, um, our three challenges are? Um, sure. Let's see. So there's the Dark Lord, the Ring, and the Train, and if I turn them over, it goes over some uh, flavor text of each item. Um, so the Dark Lord is a cruel tyrant with an army of monstrous minions. They are searching for the relic, which is the ring, and if they claim it before we do, then the world is doomed. So, um, so this is where chat comes in. <laughs> yeah, chat, you can help us with naming. <laughs> so we want to know what the name of the Dark Lord is and what is their connection to the relic, which is the ring. Um, and now I'll go over what the ring is. The, the villain can use the, so the Dark Lord can use the ring to conjure illusions and nightmares, forcing you to face your inner fears. Um, and we want to know what the name of the ring is, is as well. So we need the name of the Dark Lord, the name of the ring. We'll also need the name of the train um, and where the train's going. So the, the Dark Lord has stolen the ring and, and we have to catch him before the train reaches the end of the line. So, and Hornist, yeah. yes, you said you feel like you've <laughs> like heard, heard this before. this before. We may have no. chosen this exact setup of challenge decks <laughs> intentionally. The ring must be destroyed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but, but we need we need names. Von Tassel. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go with that. Let's, let's let's maybe be a little less close to real life. Like like what's a good name for a dark lord? Hmm. It's not Sauron. <laughs> Hi Ben. Hi Ben. <laughs> that was adorable. 
<laughs> All right, Ben, Ben, you tell us. What should the name of the Dark Lord be? Ooh, the Dark hold on. Lord. The Dark oh, Lord. Rock. McGowan might have some stuff for us Wow, here. okay. McGowan says, the Dark Lord growl. His ring is the tooth that he put under his pillow as a kid, and no, oh, no tooth fairy came for it. So he started researching magic on his own, turning to evil. Wow. <laughs> That's such a sad origin story, but I like it. I do like it too. But, so but how does the what's... tooth become a ring? I think the it's a it's the tooth is on a ring now. So like oh, he, yeah. he lost the tooth and then when it wasn't taken, he put it he like cast it into a ring. Yes, that that makes sense. As a reminder then, for yeah. all of the hurt that he experienced. And then somehow <gasps> Hi, it got lost. Bez. Hi Bez. <laughs> um yeah, so somehow the, the ring got lost. So the name of the ring is, um, what's a good name to have to do with the Dark Lord's tooth? Growl. Growl is his name. So that yeah. growl, 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 the, the Dark Lord. The should I be though. writing this down? I'm going to yeah, write this should. in my notes section. Yeah, we, and I should also have a paper to write notes on because just in case. Growl. So I don't want I don't want like the ring needs an interesting name that's like not Tooth. gross sounding because I don't want it to be like ring. Okay, no, Hornus just nailed it. Um. Oh my gosh, Molar, M O H L A H R <laughs> is the name ring of the ring. Equals Molar. Okay, yes, Molar uh. the the ring. And okay, then, so then now we can see the name of the fantasy name train. Name of the train and where it's going. And the train isn't yeah. necessarily, um, like, connected to the Dark Lord. He's just, I guess, we're, we're using it to travel. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> but, yes. Yeah, so so the story is the Dark Lord growl when, when he was a kid. Um, lost his tooth and put it under his pillow, but the tooth fairy never came for it. So he, he turned to evil. <laughs> he cast and the tooth into a cast, ring that he's yeah. worn on his finger ever since. Yes, but but um but he and lost it's like it. a magical. He lost it and then we have to like get it back for her. Well, we, we have to get it before he does because he's learned he enough does. magic now that if he's able to get the ring back that he's going to destroy everything. So we and have to get destroy it. everyone's teeth. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's teeth. No, he'll make everyone's teeth disappear. <laughs> okay, I don't Sure. Yeah, that's that's what we're trying to prevent. We I need like to it. save the teeth. <laughs> also, I, I have to admit I did I did a little googling before the scenario uh, to kind of like prep my brain for puns mm -hmm. and I have no oh, tooth related puns yet but you better oh, believe no. I'm going to get some. I'm going to figure it out. I hope I don't have to come up with anything special like that. I just have a well, shame. That's what I get for challenging myself, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so do we know the name of the train yet? We, we don't, don't know the name of the train yet. Um, it does not have to be too, it should not be tooth related. It yeah, should be something the, separate. Because the train is just like a train in this land, right? Right. This is just a yeah. train. It's just a train. Uh, now all I'm thinking of is the thing from Inception. Like, you're waiting for a train. You do not know where this train will take you. <laughs> Train. What's a good train name? Um, <laughs> Bez, I'd struggle to get eight or K nine. <laughs> but I can think of one. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess like chat can help you with puns too. Yes. Oh gosh. Great. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Please throw as many puns out during the course of this game as you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So we need a name for the train. Um, and I'm gonna turn these back. Or well. Um... Uh, we turn these back to the picture side because I don't think we need it. Yeah, um, I don't. Um, it does have the well, special. There are some special rules, but yeah, we can we maybe those remember those. Bit. Yeah, so the ring special rules are there's no special rules for the Dark Lord, but the ring, um, all of the challenge cards have a story plus one, so you get plus one to your strength if you describe the challenge expanding on the nature of the threat. So m more story, which is nice. Uh, and then the train, um, every time you fail a challenge, you discard the top card of the train, and if you reach the finale, you lose. 
So we have to defeat the villain and the relic. So normally you pick pick either the villain or the location to defeat um, other than the relic, but we have to do villain and relic this time because we don't want the train to get to the end. Um, Puffingdon Express hype hype train. Oh, hype. It's definitely hype. <laughs> hype. That's, that's, <laughs> yes. That's, that's definitely happening. But we don't want to get the hype train to the end. <laughs> yeah, no, we definitely want the hype train to end. Perfect. Uh, and just so you all are aware, um, Ambie and I do both have copies of the game, so I have components uh, next to me as well. Ambie's going to be managing our decks mm -hmm. and our card draws, um, and she'll be telling me if I've acquired items, and I'll be grabbing them from my own mm -hmm. versions of the game. So, but We also need to know where the train is going. Oh yeah, where um, is the hype train? Where is the hype train going? Yeah. Um, oh, and uh, Eclectic Camel Redeem Bunny Ears, which you're already Ooh. wearing. Well, I mean, they gotta do the flippity flaps. I'm still yes. completely baffled by the fact that my bunny ears legitimately healed themselves. Like, <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was not like it was broken for one day. They were broken for like a week and now it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. They're magic. They're right. legit legitimately magic. Hi, more games, please. So Ross got to play it, test it at the designer's, I think that's house, um, a few years back. So that's cool. That is really cool. Yes. The bunny ears are just actually a friendly mimic. <laughs> All right. So we, d oh, we didn't actually figure out where the train's going, did we? No. <laughs> the hype train is going to... Well, so, so we lose if it ends, right? right? So we lose if the train gets to its destination. So it must be like something bad at the end of the line, right? Yeah, it, it feels like... like is that like, like the Dark Lord's house? He's, there, he's going back uh, home to... <laughs> it actually, the hype train uh, is going to... Uh, it's going to run right into an off switch that turns off the internet. Like it's literally going to run into a wall and it's going to hit a button. Wait, so we're saving the internet and everyone's teeth? Yes. We're saving the internet and everyone's teeth. And see, because that's mm -hmm. where the hype train would end, is if the internet turns off, the hype ends. So mm -hmm. that's that's what we're trying to stop. Well, we're trying to make sure that that doesn't happen. All right. Huh. OK. So now, yeah, now we have our story. A giant red button floating in space. And that's where this train is headed for. <laughs> Okay, uh, so um, the way we play through this game is we, we're going to be taking turns, um, choosing challenges to go through, and then we, we have like our base strength against challenges and then um, bonus strength against certain types of challenges, like uh, Kyber is good against magic challenges or something, and uh, Rouge is good against traps. Um, and then we like say what's happening uh, as as we go through, and then as, as we defeat a challenge, we get to take the card, and they're worth points that we can get loot for. And then there's like also this helper person. Um, yes. Wait. Oh gosh, so much chat that I. <laughs> um, uh, is the internet worth saving? I mean, yes. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um. All right, so so currently at the beginning, um, we, we we have to get past a goblin spy. Wait, a goblin spy is that my cousin? Um, oh gosh, your cousin! Sorry, your cousin. cousin. They hired your cousin to they, work against yes, us. Yeah, my cousin, the spy, um, while talking to your ex while in line at the ticket counter. So yes, I my my family has a, a <laughs> has not not a great history together. Like some of my cousins are bad, some of them are good. We, we have a large family, um, but yeah, it, it's probably one of my cousins. They're very good spies. Uh, and then... All right, well, Ambie, so it sounds we're, like we're you're at, taking on this herblin already. I, so. I guess, I, I have yeah. to. <sighs> um, but yeah, so we're in line at the ticket counter for the train, because um, we're gonna be getting on it in order to stop it, I guess. And yeah. talking to my, my ex, and okay, I, I see the spy. My cousin, what is this Gerblin's clever disguise? Well, it's not as good as my invisible disguise. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> ooh, let, let's see. 
so my cousin, what's his name? I don't, okay, I'm not gonna name him, <laughs> but, but he is, uh, let's see, he's disguised, <laughs> he, he's disguised as, so like, he's, he definitely <laughs> doesn't look like your cousin, but you somehow know yeah. it's him, so what does he look like yes. instead of your cousin right now? Like, what's his bad disguise? It's like, um, a halfling. <laughs> okay. Um, but like his green skin still shows through. Um, so this is actually my cousin. He, he's not as good of a spy as other ones. He wants to be a good spy. But um, his disguise work needs some help, which is... Yeah, and he, he wants to impress you. So that's why he's yeah. attacking you. Um, yeah. So he's dressed up as a halfling trying to like fool me, but I can see... Um, <laughs> He's not the halfling. All right. Um, so what is the challenge that you have to get past now? Um, so, so I think so it's, it's this eight. <laughs> this is the yep. challenge. So yeah, it's not too difficult. And I have a four against trap challenges. So I have that. Um, and then, and, oh, a story yeah. plus one for the get disguise. So I already have a base of five. So the way the challenges work is you get your, your base strength. And then if... Um, if your friend wants to help you, then they can say like wh how they're helping you and join in their strength. And then you roll the die and see if you complete the challenge. And so are the you die is a d20 that has um, one yes, through right. six on it three times. And um, it yes. also has an insta fail and an insta win. And the fail is the so. X, right? And the yes. Wait. Okay, yeah. Yep. So you've got to get yes. to eight. And you currently have five? Yes. Well, I would like to help you. Mm -hmm. So uh, I walk up and my, my initial instinct is to laugh because I can tell also that this is your cousin. And I <laughs> part of me just wants to like let, sit back and watch what happens because I think I'll be amused by it. Um, but instead, I do decide to assist you. And mm -hmm. I, um, I walk up and I cast a magic spell to bolster your abilities. All right. So that's a plus, plus two. two assist. All right. So this yep. is Crystal's assist token. I'm just putting it there. <laughs> you have to spend it. So I'll just put it in the middle there. Okay. So we're at a base of seven. And now I will roll the die. Ooh, should I get my dice tray? There you go. Okay, this die is huge for the tray. Okay, I'll put it here. Yeah, you're gonna destroy your tray. <laughs> I got a four. All right. Okay. So I, uh, <laughs> my poor cousin, he's so humiliated um, <laughs> because I can totally, I just like rip off his disguise and be like, ha ha, <laughs> and then everyone starts laughing at him. Um, yep. Yeah. So um, I got past him. So I think I just get to keep this card. Yes, uh, so that you here. get to now keep as loot. Yes, and I'm keeping this once you loot, have uh, a value see. three in loot, you can turn it in for an item at the fantasy Costco. Yes. So this is the loot value of one right now. I guess <laughs> I'll just put it here for now. Okay. So you can still see it on the screen. All right. Yep. So that was my turn. So now there's a smooth talking goblin. Oh, there's a lot of goblins. Yeah, well, I, guess, I guess a lot of goblins are. Our villains. I, I don't know about that smooth talking goblin, but I I do see. Um, oh, you have yours. That's a different order than mine. Let me see what's um, on. Do, 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 do. Hold on, I got you. Two seconds. I'm missing one of part of one of the decks. So that might be part of it. Do, um, do, 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 do. Well, just tell me about the challenge in the ring deck. The ring is while talking to your ex. Oh. Well, oh, cuz that that one is shuffled, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so I and I apparently missed a couple of the cards from the ring deck when I was pulling everything out. So, um, okay. well, none of them are magic right now. So So we're not supposed to attempt any of the things in the train deck, right? Um Well, I guess we could, but that would make it closer to losing. Right. So we, we don't want to do that, probably. 
It's my cousin, right. a cousin in the story world and in real life. It, it's in the story world. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'll do I'll do the smooth talk in Gerblin. Because, you know, I just saw you deal with your cousin. And it sounds mm-hmm. like, I that seems easy, you know? Mm-hmm. Also, um, hello, Steph Raccoon, and hello, Legends. Hi, everybody. All right. Do you want to read me what the smooth talk in Gerblin has to All say? Right. Or I've got it here, um, actually. Oh, it doesn't? But, okay. Um, it says, effect, if you fail to defeat this challenge, you must discard a card from your loot pile if you have any. Oh, well, then this is a great one for me to take on right yeah. now. So, all right. Well, um, my strength against challenges just starts at two. Okay, so that's two. Um, oh, but I never, oh, no, that's yours. Okay, you're good at trap challenges. Technically, I probably yeah. should have left this for you, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling sassy. It's okay. And, yeah, and I just want to go for it. So... Um. Oh, I forgot our ally um just gives us a permanent plus one strength. Um, oh, it so, does? So this card oh, okay. is just always in play, yeah, for now. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Um, I'm not sure how we change them out. Uh, but... We have to use them. Like, if we oh, decide oh, if we to use the it, priest. Yes. Yeah, and then we get to flip over the next one. Yeah, because so the, the special ability of Director's Guidance is before engaging a challenge, flip any or all of the top challenge cards. Finales cannot be flipped. So they're double-sided, so like on the back, it, it would be a different challenge. Yeah. Which we could maybe flip the X, because that one seems hard. We don't like dealing with our Xs here. That um. is true. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do that instead. Let's I'll get okay. the priests. Well, but then I can't use your help if I... Huh? Because if we use the priests, uh, you can only oh, no, uh, get that's, assistance. Um, the priests' help is a separate thing, so that oh, that's okay. discarding this card. Um, the, okay, perfect. Which is a, All right, a, well, let's flip over your card. X. I don't want to deal with my X. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Rubik's... So this card sorry, gets Kimber, discarded. Kimber, Kimber, and then we get a new one, right? Here. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, this one just gives a per- perpetual one strength to... Uh, that that symbol um okay yeah okay so we're facing oh it's now your worst fear um, Uh-oh. and oh you must spend your action token to engage this challenge so you don't have your action token right now so you can't even do that <laughs> oh that's true i can't because so then i, got, I have happen. to do the smooth talk and girl yes then. that's okay yeah okay that's fine um so it is my, yep, my na- my my native. Oh no, I have one against uh, challenges. Mm-hmm. I was looking at your sheet, um, but I can. I need help. Help! Oh <laughs> I, yes, yes. This, <laughs> I don't. I don't know Gerblins, and he's really smarmy and and saying no. a lot of neat stuff. And I, uh, and you, you come on. You're a Gerblin. Can it's you can lot. you help me with this, please? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll help with my dagger. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to help that, that's how i help my friends um so when you yeah, help before a die talking. roll it's plus three right uh-huh yeah so, so i'm like I holding help. my dagger up threateningly to make the gerblin stop with the smooth talking <laughs> and so I so like they it. start like stammering because they're kind of scared <laughs> yep all right well i'm gonna roll the die then and i got a four um, so, so five plus four is nine. Yay. Yeah. You defeat it. All right. Okay. I'm taking that as loot. So I will put that over here. So this is Crystal's loot and this is my loot. Um, cool. And then. Hi, Dutch Yoda. Oh, hi, Dutch Yoda. I'm um, sorry. Other people have probably come in. Legends, I don't know if I said <laughs> hi to you earlier. <laughs> oh, yes. Hi, Legends. Hi, Steph. Rock. I know. Wait, I think yeah, I might Steph have said hi. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, I'm not sure what the plus one on the the challenge here means. Um, Which one? That's where it says uh, on, on the plus worst one? fear. No, no, no. On you... your worst fear, oh. it has a plus one for. Uh, oh, I think it might add anything. to the deck on its left. Oh, okay. Whoops. Well, well, so you still defeated the challenge anyway. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Um, yeah. All right. So maybe I should... Uh, so now you get your token back because mm-hmm. it's a new round. Yep. And now maybe I should uh, try facing my worst fear. Hi, Bonita. What's my worst fear? Yeah, you should face your worst fear. <laughs> um, 
Hi, Bonita. Sorry, Crystal said it, but I didn't say hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my worst fear is, um, is, uh, how do I face that now? My worst fear is becoming blind because my parents are colorblind and I, I don't want to be completely blind because then I can't see, I know other people can't see me because I'm so stealthy, but like be, not being able to see other people, that would be horrible. Um, yeah. So, oof, but, <laughs> but facing it, um, wait. Oh, and I have to spend my action token to engage this. So I, I'm spending my action token. Um, oh, this means no one can help me either. Oh my gosh, this is very hard. This is scary. Whew, I don't know if I can defeat that. <laughs> I think you can do it. I have faith so in So it you. is scary. So in order to face my worst fear, I have to close my eyes and roll the dice. And I have to get a six or a clear. <laughs> so let's try this. <laughs> What did I get? I got a two, so I did not defeat it. It's okay, um, that's fine. So we got one damage, um, and I think it stays there. So I'm still, I, I still So have then we that lose fear. the top card of the train deck. Um, yes, we lose the top card of the train deck. Ooh, and that adds a plus one to the middle deck now. Oh no. Oof. Um, yeah, so now, now the, what is happening in the story is where the Dark Lord's toady is here, and I'm I'm still thinking about my worst fear of being blind, for some reason, <laughs> um, and and we have bad seats. Maybe that's why I was thinking of being blind, because like we have seats and you can't really see anything in the seats we're at. We have like no window view, and the chairs are really tall, so I can't see anything there. So I'm just like, that that's why I'm facing Yep, you're kind of just freaking fear, yeah. out, like you're, you're just spiraling. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so you get to choose what you're, uh, what you're going for now. Okay. Um, so let's see. I mean, that, that your worst fear one seems really difficult. That, uh, but that Dark Lord's toady, that's a magic challenge and I'm good against mm -hmm. magic challenges. Yeah. So says the this Weasley agent of the Dark Lord is searching for the relic. What's the most annoying thing about them? Uh well clearly the Dark Lord's toady, the most annoying thing about them is that they don't think I am completely riveting. Huh? <laughs> huh? Eh? Eh? I think that gives me a plus one. Is what that does. So Story plus one for me. <laughs> and I'm just offended by the fact that this guy is not impressed with me at all. Like, I think I, my bunny hat is fabulous. And he does not agree at all. So I start with a... <laughs> Pen says that's more of a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, accurate, but... So, yes, against magic challenges, I start at four. four. Uh -huh. And then I... Um, it's there's no downside to me asking for your help again, right? Well, I've already spent my token because I'm just still like thinking oh, yeah, yeah. about my worst fear. So I'm gonna <laughs> so ask the priest help. for help then. Yes, yeah, so the priest can send their token for plus and two, and they give me a plus two. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they all this ally just has a permanent plus one against um monster icons. Oh, yeah, and it's a monster, so yeah, that's a plus one. So we're at seven. I'm at so, eight with my uh, oh, story bonus. Oh, yes. I can't count. So um. I, uh, the only, there's only one face on this D20 that'll cause me to fail. I should not say such things <laughs> And you're going to roll it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. I got a four, so we're good. Yay. So you get this and now you actually have, well, you have four Ooh. loot. Yeah, that's the thing, though. You don't get changed. Yeah, you don't get you... changed. So it, it costs three loot to get a fantasy Costco card, but you don't get changed. So So should I wait or should I just turn them in? I feel like yeah, those cards are going to be beneficial. Yeah. Like. Hmm. I, I kind of want to just turn them in. 
All right, so we will turn them in. So I'll just discard these and then I will draw the top card. It's just one card, right? Yep. Okay, I'll draw the top card and you get a Phantom Fist. Um, it's a perpetual one, plus one strength versus the monster type and you can discard it to reduce the damage from a failed challenge to zero. Oh, um, nice! <laughs> it says, rewrote a lame pun for this card, but we'll punch it up later. <laughs> um, well, that's fitting. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, cool. So I have my phantom this fist is now. This crystals. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to adjust things a little bit so that you can see that. That's crystals. Okay, now it's back to my turn, so everyone gets their tokens back. Um, all right. <laughs> Brock says get one of those fantasy pot pies or fantasy pizzas from Fantasy Costco. Mm. <laughs> get, give me that giant churro. That's, that's what I want. <laughs> all right. So, like, we have to eventually get this worst fear, and I don't really know how to get it. Um, I know, that's going to be tough well, unless we get items that will help us. With yeah, those specific I know. types of challenges. Yeah. But um I think with or or like possibly using the surprise cards because I think one of my the other surprise cards I picked has this icon on it. Okay. So if we get um one of those. I think with two players you're supposed to just um oh I, I, sh I you just put out a new one, so I don't know if you're supposed to be able to pick it or just put it out randomly. Because um, you're allowed to pick. We the go first through. One. We go through the deck, and then when we get to the final one, it just stays out. Is what the rule book said, I believe. Oh. I think. Um. Yeah, but I don't know if like you you pick it or not, because like the first surprise we got to pick which one we used for two players. Oh yeah, so that's true. So I don't true. know if I could just pick it and pick... Oh, Sarah, thank just you for subscribed. the subscription. Wow, thank you. <laughs> this is uh, a little too apropos, your name and the <laughs> yeah. scenario that we're doing right now, but I but, like it. But the ring that we're trying to get is the the uh, Molar ring. Molar. <laughs> Not yeah. a ring that you know about. Um, <laughs> all right. Okay. So I might just... Oof. These are all tough. So maybe I'm still, just for the story, I am still like, my eyes are closed and I'm still confronting that worst fear. Um, oh, also I should get plus one for the story bonus, right? Cause the, yes. the ring just get, okay, so yes. Um, but I need to roll a six still cause this gives me plus one. But I'm still, that's what, that's what I'm just stuck here confront, trying to confront my worst fear. Cause like, otherwise I can't, I can't do anything else. I'm just um, like thematically, right? I'm just yeah. scared. It doesn't make sense for me to be trying anything else because I'm just scared of yep. of, of going yeah, blind. Um, so I have to spend my action token again and I need to roll. Well, <gasps> yes, that's an auto win. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I open my eyes and I'm like, this is fine. I can see, I can just jump and then I'll see over the chair. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I defeated my worst fear. Um, uh, ben, it is a D20 yes. that has one through six on it three times, and then a yeah, and uh, then critical a... success and a insta fail. Insta fail, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so, woohoo. So I still only have two, uh, loot okay money but that's, so I, you did I a good job so yes. um but, I'm, but now, I'm proud of you <laughs> but now we're being hunted by a snurfling relic wraith and haunted by a personal ghost and bothered by bad seats um, oh no <laughs> so it is now your turn to all right i'm gonna let's see here out. i'm grabbing the personal ghost card just so i can see what it has, oh, it has <laughs> so a, i i, I mean i feel like I'm I'm clearly doing great against Spooky. the uh, the Dark Lord's minions. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get that snurfling relic wraith. Uh, I'm gonna try and take care of it. This uh, this foul spirit is tracking us. How are we going to avoid it? So this is I'm not gonna fight it. 
we're going to try and avoid it, mm -hmm. which makes this even more interesting. Um, ooh, because like, okay, okay. So this, this wraith is coming after the ring. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. So we see, we notice that this snurfling relic wraith is following us. Like we're pretty aware of what's going on and we can see that we're being tracked and we want to throw him off of our scent. You know, like we want to kind of lead him in the wrong direction. So what I do is um, we've got, we've been carrying around some animals that we killed you know, from earlier, just whatever on our adventure, I pull out one of their teeth and I, I grab something that kind of looks like a ring, like from like, maybe like a, a hook or a hoop from one of our bags. And I mm. kind of fashion it into like a makeshift ring, mm. like thinking, Hey, maybe this will throw them off. And, uh, it's it maybe maybe it doesn't look exactly like the regular ring. It's, <laughs> it's kind of, it's like a, it's like a prototype if you will <laughs> so so i drop that and and we, we i'm trying to lead him off and uh then i'll do the challenge and see what happens okay so i start with four plus one for the story bonus so that's five and then um our our card doesn't give us an additional bonus right now for this one um, but you can help no. me. Oh no, you already spent your token. But the, so the priest yeah, can help me. Priest can help. So, so that'll bump me up to seven. Seven, yes. And then do we have a plus? No, we don't have a plus one right now. So we're fine. So nope. I just need to roll a two um, or higher. Yes. Nobody in the chat laughed at prototype. I laughed, and I'm sad. So, well, the, <laughs> you did. You for the chat to laugh, they have to like type out laughing noises so <laughs> it's harder <laughs> they, they might have laughed just you know yeah uh -huh, sure without typing i'm it. gonna try and make the the chat groan as many times as possible all right i'm rolling <laughs> they just type out groan oh no i rolled a one. Oh no so we failed uh <laughs> is there anything oh wait hold on is that nope my my phantom fist does not help but i could get rid of the um because this would cause two damage to us. I could get rid of my Phantom Fist uh, to reduce the damage to zero. Do you think we should use it this early? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. It's going to get worse, right? I don't know. <laughs> we'll just take the damage. It's fine. Okay. So we're at 11 health now. Um, and Clearly, lose... the prototype was not a good enough facsimile <laughs> to the original ring. And so... therefore... <laughs> I failed. <laughs> so the the train is now we're now um in the tiny we're trapped in the tiny lavatory in the train. Um because it's a really crappy have, situation. It's a really crappy situation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, there are some groans in the chat chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. That's all that's all I really wanted, you know? Just something. <laughs> All right, so we get our assist tokens back. So we're still being hunted by this Nerfling Relic Wraith. Um, yeah. And being haunted by a personal ghost. But maybe I'll go for the personal ghost. Okay. Since you're uh, working on the Relic Wraith. Um, so, oh, this is a tough one. So this is an illusion of someone you have you lost or left behind. Who is it? Um, well, so far, the only person I've left behind is my cousin. Um, so I think, yeah, <laughs> now I'm feeling a little bad because I was laughing at my cousin. And Aww. like, I'm, yeah, uh, we had good times when we were kids and we used to be best friends, but now, now he works with the Dark Lord. And, and because now I feel bad that like, I just made fun of him and he, he looked so sad when we left him behind. So now I just see this illusion. And I just like, I'm being haunted yeah. by this. Your cousin just looked up to you and you I, laughed I know. in his face. Uh, I know. <laughs> Hi, Joe. I, 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 I should feel worse about that. And um, yeah. yeah, hi, Joe. 
So, uh... All right, well, So, so you, I'm feeling a little well, bit bad help? about that. Yeah, maybe I'll need some help. So I have two okay. strength against challenges. So I, I come over to you, and I, I kind of pat you on the back, and I just say, you know, it's... It's understandable. You all are in the same line of work and, you know, like tensions are bound to run high. But just because you've done something in the past that you regret does not mean you can't move forward. So, you know, maybe the next time we see your cousin, you apologize. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we, I can get over it. Um, so yeah, we have five right now and we need to get 11. <laughs> Wow, these ones are hard on the ring. Um, yeah. Oh no. Uh, okay, so I only rolled a three, so we're at eight, uh, which means I fail. Uh, so I, I'm still feeling kind of bad, and I'm like, I don't want to apologize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I still feel bad, and now we lost two health. Um, but we're no longer in the tiny laboratory, so that's nice. Now we're enjoying the fabulous view because I got over my my fear of being blind. I can jump and see the view. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh, so you used your assist, so that's yep. that token. All right. Okay. So now it feels like I kind of have to like that that snarfling relic wraith is still tracking us. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> my my plan, the, the the fake ring did not did not dissuade him at all. Um, so how am I going to get rid of this spirit? Uh, I would like some suggestions from the chat. What you all would do to uh, help avoid this spirit, this relic wraith that is tracking us? Uh, if you give me a prompt of some kind, I will turn that into the, the yeah. scenario that dealing with right now so the fake ring didn't work <laughs> so i had to do yeah, something the fake, else the fake ring is not good enough but i can help you this time with my dad yeah you can um, that'll be good so i well let's go ahead and figure out what i'm going to be starting with so assuming that we get some story in here which oh i mean mcgowan's got a good idea there so uh i'm starting with a plus five or a five to begin with i i kind of like uh let's see to stop a spirit, pour a salt line barrier. That seems reasonable as well. Mm -hmm. And generally, I kind of dagger. I, I like McGowan's suggestion. So I've, I've, what I've done is I did this elaborate like setup to like make that fake ring, and it did not work in, literally at all. And then you come over, Ambi, and you've seen what I've been doing, and you literally are just like. Hey, I think they went to the east. And like, yeah. <laughs> we hear him like shuffle off in the other direction for to, to, to start. Mm -hmm. And then we roll a die and see what happens. So um, you have a plus three, right? Yes, plus three. Okay, so we're at eight. So <laughs> we should. Oh, wait, you're rolling. Yeah, okay. I, I, okay, I'm not gonna I'm roll. rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Yes. Two, we're good. Yay. Woohoo. So you got the spirit. So Surfing. yes, he went. He's he's going to the east. We're going to the west um, on the train. I realize we're on a train now, and east and west do not make as much sense as they did when I said them. But you know what? That's fine. Train. Uh, well, what's a spirit? Maybe he just left the train. Yeah, he, just, um. he was like, "Oh, not the train. The east." Okay, perfect. <laughs> um. Um. So, so I now have now... some more loot. Now we're facing a barrow ghost. Oof, another Whoa. spirit. So um, I think with my personal ghost, I just like forgot about him because I. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you, you were just I, you, I just, you were blocking it out of your memory. I don't apologize to him. No, whatever. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I've got plenty of other cousins. Um, totally. <laughs> yeah. So, but now there's a barrow ghost. Um, so what is this malevolent spirit? Is it haunting a tomb or possessing a wheelbarrow? But it's on a train, right? So it's in... Well, yeah. maybe it's more... Maybe it's, uh, one of the, like, as the train passes by, the barrow ghost, like, phew, comes onto the train from 
naked ghost wearing a barrel <laughs> a barrel ghost yeah okay it's... so this is a barrel ghost <laughs> yeah so um it it kind of got lost as the train passed over a bridge because it was a barrel that was like on the river but the bar- bar- somehow it got like picked up onto the train uh, as the train crossed over <laughs> this this ghost actually manifests itself as things that like people around it are thinking about and while it's technically called a barrow ghost we were on the like one of the train cars that had a bunch of barrels in it and he kind of got <laughs> yeah. his wires crossed and so yeah now he's wearing yes. a barrel <laughs> yeah okay um yeah so i need to defeat it um by setting a trap, right? It's a trap count challenge. So I'm, his name is Cooper. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> All right. Um, so I'm setting Cooper. a trap for the barrel. Um, I guess so if I get, oh, yay. yay thank raid! you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Um, Beluga Bliss Games. Yay. Thanks. How are you all today? We're playing the Adventure Zone board game and I want to hear um, what you all were playing. Yay. Thanks for the follow and people's. Um. Yay! <sighs> so yeah, we're All playing. Right. I'm currently facing a barrel ghost. <laughs> a, and a barrel barrow I... ghost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I have four strength against traps. So, oh, and the, we had the story. And you get the story bonus. Uh, so you're yes. at five to start. <laughs> um, yeah. um, would you like to help me? I would love to help you. So I I feel kind of bad because I think that I'm the reason that this this spirit has a barrel around it, which really, it seems like that's extra protection. Regardless of whether you're corporeal or not, you know, a barrel is a really good shield. Uh, and I'm the one that was thinking of barrels when it appeared. So I'm, I feel guilty. So I come over that's to true. assist you. Um, and I want to help. Um, I, I, I've been... I'm, I'm trying to see if the like if there's any puns that I have that <laughs> would work. I don't know. This, I th- I think I'm just gonna use uh, my magical abilities and we're gonna try and take take out the barrel barrow. <laughs> okay. Oh nice. They, uh, Blue Bliss was playing Super Dice Heroes, trying to get to 100 points. Nice. Ooh. I don't cool. remember what score I got. I don't. I feel like a hundred is a lot, right? Oh my um, gosh! Play polka. Barrels can't help but to roll right. out when they hear polka. <laughs> okay, I got a four, so that's eleven. Yes, we defeated Yay! it. Um, so you used the spell, and I threw some daggers at it too, because yep. I just have a bunch of daggers. That's that's my yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right. So I, now, I imbued uh, your daggers with enough magic <laughs> that it made it so that they could stab a spirit. Mm. Oh, that poor spirit. Um, so now I have enough to get a loot. So I'm going to get that. So I discard these, get a loot. I have an all or nothing coin. You may discard this card before you roll the die. If the result is even, the roll is a critical hit. If it's odd, it's an epic fail. Whoa. <laughs> oh. So I guess if we have oh. a near impossible challenge anyway or one that has to be like a perfect roll then at least that gives us a 50 50 chance yeah wow um okay so it is now your turn um we now have uh oh 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 my computer okay it's okay <laughs> uh is it okay I, I can com- hear you. Okay. My computer blacked out for a second. <clears throat> yeah. So hopefully <laughs> the, the stream, stream is still okay. is okay, I think. All right. I don't know what happened there. It might have just been my display. Um, it, it blacked out on OBS Ninja too. so... Is it, it back? It did. It's Yeah, it's fine now. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Cool. So... <laughs> All right. Hopefully everything looks okay. Okay. Yeah, Kyber just Kyber's cast a moment, a moment of invisibility for a second. Yes. Yep, that, that's what I did. Yeah. I hope my uh, my fear, my worst fear doesn't come back. That was <laughs> oh, yeah. back to my worst fear, huh? Gosh, this is getting too so thematic. thematic. <laughs> um, all right, so your turn. There, there's some annoying elves now. 
Um, and there's still a Uh-oh. personal ghost, and uh, yeah, there's annoying elves. <laughs> well, I mean, that personal ghost is is not going to be easy for me to take on ever. Because yeah, even with your either. help, I. Uh, although it's going to be tough it's, it's for the you same. too. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> yeah. So, but now it has I... a plus two right now from the uh, annoying elves. Oh yeah, we shouldn't do that then. Let's get rid of these annoying elves. All right, let's see here. So the annoying elves, these elves want you to join them for something long and boring. What is it? A council meeting? A cryptic prophecy? A timeshare opportunity? So chat, what is it that these elves want to jo- want to have us join them in? It's something distracting uh, or boy- boring or annoying. Um, what is it that we're trying to get out of? And I have to say, living in Vegas, the timeshare thing hits, hits close to home because there's a lot of people trying to sell timeshares here in Vegas. A shrubbery. <laughs> a shrubbery. <laughs> they, so the, do they want us to get them a shrubbery? Rules um, explaining. <laughs> oh, and these are all all minions of the Dark Lord, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. We're, we're doing an okay job of dealing with his minions. He, yes, he did not send his best people, I, w- yeah. I have to say. We're not doing a great job of finding the ring. The we're one. really not. The ring is, yeah. is eluding us. Clearly, you and I have never actually seen it before. We've heard yeah. like tales of this <laughs> ring, but we've never seen it, which is why the facsimile that I made was not mm-hmm. convincing at all, because we were kind of just going off of like all these rumors that we've heard and everything else. Yeah. Yeah, we're not even sure like which tooth it was on the ring or <sighs> yeah. Like, does, do his All teeth right, so look the elves um, actually have this uh, this ritual that they perform uh, involving shrubberies, mm-hmm. and they think it's really super fun. But when we when we've seen them do it in the past, it's literally just them like making a circle around a shrubbery, and it's it's quite boring. There's there's nothing. There's nothing going on there. Um, so we will uh, try and avoid them by... Mm-hmm. I mean, and this is obviously, since they're on this train with us, it's a it's a potted shrubbery. It's not even, mm-hmm. like, growing somewhere. They, they brought it with them. Um, and it, it kind of looks like a tree, but it has very humanistic like characteristics about it it almost looks like the the, the shrubbery is alive and mm-hmm. the uh the elves find it incredibly entertaining <laughs> but we do not so i'm gonna roll the die and see if we can avoid it um do you want my help yes please um so <clears throat> i so, figure I if, if we can if we can make the shrubbery part just like get destroyed, then then they'll they'll stop annoying us about it. So I I try to like throw my daggers at the pot to make it like break and spill. <laughs> so yeah, I, like I have it. a I like it. plus three there. Um, okay, so that brings us up to wait. eight. Eight, yes. All right, I'm gonna roll. Critical success! Ooh, nice. Woo-hoo. I wish I, I had a camera on my die. Oh. I don't know why I would make that up, but like it's oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> wow, and that's a three for the gem, huh? So, do you want to get a loot oh. card? Yes, hmm? I will just turn that loot right in and get myself a card. So you just tell me what card I've drawn. Uh, beginner's luck. And okay, it's, you can here. discard it to add plus two to any die roll. Oh, nice. Wait, do you have to do it before? Um, it doesn't say. To anyone's die roll. To any's, anyone's die roll, okay. yeah. Okay, so that sounds like you could do it before or after, theoretically. <clears throat> well, it's probably, right, cool. yeah. Maybe after because, yeah, because you get the roll and yeah. then you add plus two, yeah. That makes sense. So now, oof. These are tough. Um, we're uh, okay. It's back to me. So I get this back. Um, so, um, 
We so now we must evade the Dark Lord's gaze while being haunted by a personal ghost and enjoying the fabulous view. Um, I mean, at least the view is nice from the train. Yeah, right it now. is. So I'm looking out the view, um, and then another personal ghost comes <laughs> because I already <laughs> forgot about my other one. I have a short term memory, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> but I, I think I'm gonna try to uh, um, defeat or engage this this personal ghost so it's an illusion of someone else i lost or left behind who is it um oh i don't know hey ambi i have to step away for just a tiny tiny second i will okay. be right back all right should i keep going or wait yeah no you or feel chat, free chat to go ahead and me <laughs> yeah chat can help you with chat, this challenge i will be right back <laughs> all right help me think of what personal ghost am i uh trying getting haunted by <laughs> um someone i lost or left behind is it someone that another another of my cousins or or and like how, how did i lose them or leave them behind was it my fault maybe um is it something my daggers can solve um <laughs> Let's see. And why? Okay, so I'm looking out the window. <laughs> the ghost of Jigsaw Puzzle. Yes. <laughs> My childhood best friend. Okay. My childhood best friend, Jigsaw Puzzle, <laughs> um, is now haunting me. Um, so we used to play together all the time. Um, but they, they died in a tragic accident uh, where it, it was kind of gory. They got dismembered. Um, and I tried to put them back together, but like I was young and I uh, couldn't, I didn't realize that, that, I mean, they were gone for good. And so I just tried like putting them back together and, and it was very haunting. And I just didn't remember it until now when I was looking out the window and it was a very nice view, but like there were fields and stuff with like, of, of different, um, like, different types of land that looked kind of like, like stitches together. So it reminded me of my attempts to put my best friend back together. And um, so yeah, now I'm haunted by this, this ghost of Jigsaw Puzzle. Um, <laughs> I don't know where <laughs> we're going, but I like it. Jigsaw Puzzle was my best friend and they Hi, uh, died in a very gruesome way. Um, yeah, so I, I have a base of three, <laughs> I need to get to 10, <laughs> 11, I need to get to 11. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I, oh yes, can I, do you think I should spend the all or nothing? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could do that. So then it doesn't even help if you help. Um, Oh, that's true. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to help, like story-wise. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. The, dog, the dogs are going crazy in the backyard. I will be right back again. I'm so sorry. Okay. Dang it. All right. So I'm going to spend my all or nothing coin. Jigsaw always liked gambling. <laughs> so uh, if the result is even, the roll is a critical hit. If it's odd, it's so I want a, an even roll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I got an X, which is an epic fail. <laughs> um, so we fail. <laughs> oh gosh. And I go back to. And so, so. <laughs> so uh, I'm just. The, the, the. <laughs> the American horror story take on escape room puzzles. That last gambling game cost Jigsaw an arm and a leg. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting haunted by all of these ghosts, and it is very sad. That, okay. Uh, so I'm just, like, ignoring this other ghost <laughs> as well. <laughs> Unless I, I, I'm gonna... Uh, get over the haunting next turn. I don't know. 
But Chris, Crystal is going to have to either get this ghost or uh, evade the Dark Lord's gaze. Oh, and also, oh, we, since we lost the challenge, I forget if we, yeah, this gets discarded. Um, now we're in a luxury coach. Nice. Yeah, okay, since the, the view changed, I, I probably forgot about that ghost too. So it was just a haunting experience and I got some damage, but now I'm, I've forgotten that that ghost was there. And there's probably another ghost now. <laughs> so many ghosts on this train. <coughs> mm. All right, so Crystal is going to be disappointed in my <laughs> critical fail roll. But how's everyone doing today? Nice. Hope you're all having a good weekend. It's a good, good Sunday. Um, yeah. Let's see. What do you think? How, do you think we'll be able to find this ring? It seems like it's very well hidden behind all these ghosts. And why, why is, why are there so many ghosts around this ring? They, they must really like teeth. Maybe, yeah, maybe the, the ghosts are, are like, the ghosts take people's teeth and so they like the ring and help give it its power to take away the teeth. Um, ben woke up to find BGA had lost the game. We were midway through. Oh, whoa, BGA can, ah, that sucks. What um, game was it, Ben? Like, like the game, your game was gone, or the game is no longer on board game. Oh, Arena? oh yeah, yeah. Which, which, which one? Oh, Carnegie. Huh. Oh yeah, it's seventy degrees outside for a harness. That's good. Gosh, that's um, a change. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, huh. so the game's still there, but pause, no time limit game just disappeared. Huh. That's weird. That sucks. Um, yeah, so Crystal, I hmm? uh, rolled a critical fail <laughs> on oh, my no. coin toss. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're now at seven health. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's where we're at. And I already forgot right. about the ghost because the view changed since the train is now here. Oh no, and the, oh. now the trap challenges are worse because of the luxury coach. Yeah, but that's okay. We don't have any trap challenges right now. Not right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, well, I feel like I should attempt to evade the Dark Lord's gaze, right? Sure. You, you seem good at that. Challenge. You can like... Make your invisible potion. Um, hi, yeah. Game Jedi. Take the bottom card with Goblin name from the discard pile and place it on top of this one. Oh, so we oh, don't want to. We don't want to. Oh, whoops! Don't wanna... I did not put things in order. I should have. <laughs> I think it's fine. I so. Well, we can. Yeah. Hi, Game Jedi. All right, so. We're getting close yeah. to the Dark Lord, obviously, because we want. I have to evade his gaze. Um, yes. So... How would I evade the Dark Lord's gaze? Dark Lord growl. Maybe if you hide your teeth, because he's really interested in taking teeth, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, he he likes teeth, or he's yeah. obsessed with teeth. Um, man, I don't have any tooth puns in my head. <laughs> it's not something that like I prepared for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad at puns, so I can't. Um, okay, so to tell you the truth, 
I really don't know how to evade his gaze. He's very compelling. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something with chomp. How do I, <laughs> I'm trying, I can't. Let's see. So I have uh, plus you have oh, four. I only have four. There's no story mm -hmm. bonus on this card. Mm -hmm. um, for uh, I would like some assistance. All please. right. So what are you trying? You're trying to hide your teeth. Yeah, I'm um, trying to hide my teeth. Um, hmm. oh, uh, so I have some experience in like hiding. So I, I like yeah. help you. Uh, uh, like I have experience with disguises and stuff because of my shady background, right? So I'm gonna help you give you some advice on how to make your teeth look more hidden. Um, you know, like erase <laughs> so them from Molar all your. So then, Molar is the name of the <laughs> ring, and uh, Growl yeah. is the name of the Dark Lord. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I, I still like the catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I I give you some tips on how to change your disguise. Like all of your previous selfies, you have to erase the teeth in them. And then it helps, yeah. like, <laughs> make it so that I mean, you don't have... Teeth. Nick in yeah. the chat said, all we have to do is just tell him that we're enamored with him. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so you can do all that, too. You want the tooth? Um, you can't handle the tooth. <laughs> all right, so you're at seven now. Okay. So, and I, I do have my beginner's luck card that I could throw in if I need to. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll... I rolled a one, <laughs> so no. I am, so seven, eight, nine, so I am gonna, or seven, eight, so if I discard beginner's luck, that'll add plus two, which will get me to the 10 I need. So, okay, so we're doing that, discard. Yeah. Beginner's luck, Um. so we get the 10, yay. Which gives me one loot, which means I have three loot again. So I'm going yes. to uh, get another fantasy Costco card. All right. So you get a glowing axe. Um, Ooh, that sounds pretty awesome. Yeah. Ooh, it's plus one strength versus monsters or um, spooky. The, yeah, <laughs> which we've been dealing with a lot Yay! of spooky stuff. So that's yeah, good. Yeah, I know. All right. Um... Oh, so now it's my turn, huh? Yeah. That Yay. personal ghost of yours. I feel like yeah. you can do it this time. No. I, <laughs> I'm going to leave that to you. <laughs> because you have better chance against Spooky now. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I do. I do. It'll be me now. Okay, cool. I'll do that one. I'll change out the ally to have Spooky. But... <laughs> but I know gonna... that because we already used the Spooky one, right? Or no, we didn't yet. Um, no, we didn't. Oh, there are, the other two are Spooky. Yes. Yeah, I think, we, yeah. <laughs> Can we just switch it out without having used the one that we, we already yeah, have Yeah, I, I don't know the, like, I'm not sure on the rules of those, so... Um... Let's let's say we can just switch it. I'm okay with that for okay. now. Let's just... So which one All are right. we doing? Mysterious Should Vision or Merle's Blessing? we just do Mysterious Blessing? Vision, I guess? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, anyway... Very blue jeans. Very blue jeans. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm going to, so now we're sabotaging a big old battering ram and okay. I'm a, which is on a train for some reason. <laughs> yeah. So, so why is there a battering ram on a train? Andy? I'd like to know. <laughs> um, well, this train was trying to turn off the internet and I guess maybe the, why does the dark Lord have a battering ram on a train? Um, well, they're trying to get they're trying to get off the train cuz at oh. the end of the train they're going to like get hurt. So they're trying to batter themselves off of the train, but we don't and they're trying to escape like with the ring too, right? So Right. Yeah, they they're to, trying to punch a hole through the um, side of the train so yeah. they can get out, right? Yeah, a battering ram isn't the best choice since it's so long, it's hard for them to maneuver it inside the train. But well, I mean, we never said the dark lord <laughs> was, was smart. Yeah, yeah. this is true. Um, he likes he likes to, you know, like with when it comes to like these magical things that are going on, he likes to make things more difficult. Wait, what? The... Occult. O C C U L. Occult. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I see. I'm struggling. Um, <laughs> all right. So, um, 
Uh, story plus one is either a siege weapon or a heavily armored sheep. What's your plan for dealing with it? Okay, yeah, so to deal with it, um, I mean, there's, it doesn't need much to sabotage it, I think, because it, it, like, it's not going to work very well anyway. But um, I just need to make sure they can't rotate it. So yeah. um, I, I just, we need to convince all of the passengers to stay in their seats so that they can't rotate the battering ram to like actually um, use it because the passengers yeah. will be in the way. So I'm trying yep. to talk to the passengers about that. Um, so I'm good with traps. It's a trap, so when, I guess. If, if I assist you, mm -hmm. does, do my yes, you uh, like? loot cards, can I tap them to use their effects? Uh, I don't think assist is all remember. challenges you face. Because that phantom fist of mine could help if... It just says it, it, um, the ongoing effect applies to all challenges you face. I don't know if that means, uh, okay. like when you're assisting or. I mean, if it says all challenges you face, I'm okay with us. I mean, since you have to like rotate it, that would mean I can't use it on my turn if I use it on yours. Oh, you have to rotate it? I didn't know that. Yeah. Um... Yeah, they've got those little like rotate symbols on them, huh? so. No, no, that means it's ongoing. Oh, okay. Well, then I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Here it says, usually ongoing bonuses only apply when you engage a challenge. If a bonus applies when oh. you assist someone else, it'll clearly stay. Okay, well, so, then I guess I won't use... Yes. I, I'm taking off the Phantom Fist, then. I, you, I offered, right. and you but, said no. But you can, you can help with the, talking to the the other passengers. I will... I'll distract the person who's oh, supposed distract. to be watching the battering ram. Uh, okay, okay. So I will come over and start, like chatting them up and being like, hey, uh, you know, how's this weather we've been having recently, eh? eh? <laughs> All right. Those, uh, those, hills, those hills out the window there, do you see them through the trees? Yeah, those, those, those they're hill, hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, I rolled a one. So no, we, we do not succeed. Wait, wait, uh, you have a, do you have a, mm, I don't have anything. Could... How, how far off are we? Three. Shoot. Because Barry mm -hmm. could have added one to the die roll, and is yes. you, and Barry you use Barry's uh, already plus one. No, I use. Oh no, oh, it doesn't apply to this. That's not mind. a Sorry. apply to this. No, so we don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're no longer in the luxury coach. We're crossing a long bridge. Okay. The bridge is probably bridge. a metaphor for something. It says. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm not rolling well. <laughs> That's <I'm> fine. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like I I should take on this personal ghost then. Mm -hmm. You know, you've you've been haunted by your ghosts. I can see it in your eyes that you're you're troubled. And <laughs> since you're my friend, I want to I want to help you. So, mm -hmm. I I walk over to assist you with your personal ghosts and I'm hit with a wave of nostalgia for my previous life because mm. I'm undead and I once was alive <laughs> and I That's I miss true. my original life, you know, like it's, it, it was pretty, I, I mean, I was a wizard, right? So I was, it was pretty mm -hmm. wanderful, um, my previous life. And now I'm just sad all the time because I'm undead and my people don't take well to the undead who wear bunny ears, but it's, it's the <laughs> life that I've been given to, to live, so. Or unlive. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so our mysterious vision card gives us a plus one. This deck in general has a story bonus. So I yeah. start at one against one. regular challenges. The story okay. bonus gets me to two. The mysterious vision gets me to three. My the glowing axe. axe. It's me to four. Yep. I drop the Yay. Oof. Oh gosh. When we need eleven. Uh okay, but you <laughs> can help me. Oh yes, I can help. I forgot. Um yeah. So since I you was dealing plus... with some of my ghosts before, I help with plus three. So um, that gives us a seven. Yeah. Okay. And then and I'm, yeah. yeah. Alright, so I just need to roll good. I comfort you and tell you. You know, it, it's fine being unliving, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, All right, here we go. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ah, 
it's a two. Oh no, we needed a four, huh? We needed a four. Uh, uh, we can add I'm... the plus one with, with Barry, but that's not enough. No. That's not enough. Uh... Um, I can reduce the damage from a failed challenge using my fist mm -hmm. if I discard it. <sighs> Man. We would get two damage. We're still, we're at okay. five. Yeah. It's, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> all right. But now we're passing through the cargo car. Um, all other trap challenges have plus one difficulty. Uh -oh. There's some valuable stuff in here if you're a thief. Yeah. If... Oh my gosh, I kind of want to just do the cargo car because it gets me loot. But... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then that gets me closer to the end of the train. <laughs> do it, do it. Do it? Because yeah, otherwise that battery right. ram, we're never going to get through. That's true. It, so it'll All discard right. the cargo car anyway, probably. So yeah. All right. So um, I'm I like loot, and valuable stuff. I'm kind of like a thief, right? Yeah, I'm a thief basically. Yeah. Um, so I was like, ooh, ooh, there's a cargo car here. This looks pretty good. Uh, maybe there's some more daggers that I can add to my dagger collection. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of daggers. Um, so I I go in there. Um, do you want to help me? Are you, are you around? Do you I would love to help you. We're, I, I see all this stuff in the cargo car and I'm definitely down to help. Uh, you know, we, 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 we know that we need to focus on the task at hand, but when we see all of these beautiful things, that little no. voice in my head tells us we should just keep going. I'm just like, Hey, 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 Hey. Don't train on my parade, man. Let, let's get some fun stuff along the way. Yeah. So, so we're going shopping. <laughs> By stealing things. Yay. Okay. We, we stole successfully. Hey. All right. So I'm going to discard that for the loot. Now it's a bumpy ride. Okay. My loot is shield of shielding. Uh, when anyone fails a challenge, you can spend your action token to reduce the damage by two. Oh, nice. And that's that's just... Any time. Okay. Um, it's, awesome. an it's an ongoing effect, so I can spend okay. my action token. But that means I can't help. But that's okay. We can just... You can have the uh, our ally help. Yeah. All right. So that was my turn. Oh, it's your turn now. Yeah, I feel like I got to go after that personal ghost again. All right. So. That's still really hard, huh? Yeah, so, so that the um, I mean, I was I was being troubled by my past life, you know, and and remembering what it was like to be alive instead of undead, and you know, just knowing that I I can never truly truly die again, I or thinking that I, that there is no there is no escape from my undead life is is very troubling, mm -hmm. to me. and it's difficult to to deal with. So, um, I don't have a pun for this one, <laughs> but I'm going to say that in my past life, I mm -hmm. actually, especially this thrill for me, because being on a train just brings back this flood of all of these old memories. Um, so, uh, so I, uh, maybe you for help or the priest like for help? Well, I, I give one more point, but um, I can also shield us from damage if I don't help. Yes. Well, but I can also, I can discard my phantom fist to reduce the damage to zero. Mm. So if That's you true. help, we've got a better right, chance of success. Then? And then I can still All right, so I DB. continue yeah. patting you on the back. With my dagger blade. <laughs> with the side of my dagger blade, because I help with my daggers all the time. And and you can feel like the cold of the dagger and it makes you feel alive more. So you're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, so, I don't know what I have not put you number. So you're at one what number am I up to? I've got uh extra, extra story. I think seven. Okay. So you need to roll a four? Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was what it was last time too. That makes yes. sense. Okay. 
I can do this! Come on. <laughs> Bambi, I rolled a oh one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are just not doing the, well. We cannot deal with our personal ghosts. I know, the ghosts are very hard. Oh. Are. Um. I, I wish I had the, the, the ability in me to lie about die rolls, but I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. It's a one. It's a one. It's a freaking All right, one. So we get two damage, or do you want to discard your phantom fist? I will. I will. I'm gonna toss my phantom fist. So. All right. No damage. Um, all right. So back to my turn. I guess I should do the battering ram then, huh? Go for. It. Oh wait, but yeah. okay. This. We're at the final stretch. Oh, if we lose now, it's all over. So if, the next if. If we lose a challenge now, we're going to lose the game. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, we're getting we're, close. We're the, the train, the the game, train the is internet. almost at the button that turns off the internet. <laughs> yes. The, the internet will turn off. <laughs> we're going to happen and just end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that we had the... I, I don't think either one of us have the, the nerve to do yeah. that, but man, that would be fun. If we fail to just like cut the stream right then. It's like, oh no, we failed. Cut. <laughs> I don't want to do it, but I just, I don't want to. No. I can't. Um, I could, I could do, I'll, I'll do something. Um, okay. I mean, if you do the battery ram and can be successful, then um, at least the personal ghost will be easier. Yeah, by one. Okay, right, so I'm gonna, thinking. I mean, I'm still trying the same thing for the battering ram. Um, okay. So, like, yeah, they're, they're still having trouble with the battering ram, like, rotating and stuff. I'm just, like, getting the people, come on, stay there. They're, the people are looking scared. They were trying to get up and leave because the battering ram was there. And I'm like, no, don't worry. The, this battering ram isn't actually going to hurt you. And, yeah, it'll be okay. So, um, are, you, are you helping me? Yes, I'm definitely helping. All right. So, you're helping. Um, okay. So, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, so we're at seven, I think. Does that make sense? Yes. So I need to get a four. Um, boop. Yes, I got a six. Yay! Boom! Better ram destroyed. And not destroyed, it's just stuck there because everyone's like, oh yeah, if we sit here, it's fine. Oh yeah, we're on a train. Um, yeah, we're on a train. Okay, so I'm going to trade these in for a Costco card. Dragon scale armor. Plus one strength versus um, monsters or magic. Ooh. All right. That's okay. nice. Okay, so um, now the warlock queen is here. Okay, well... I want to I wanna go after the warlock queen. I know we have to deal with that personal ghost here pretty mm -hmm. soon, but the warlock queen is going to be much easier for me to deal with, right? I think. It is? Yeah. Yeah, because oh, I, okay. I have a lot of abilities that apply to oh, those two symbols. yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's I know it'll harder, be tough on like... your turn, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, we'll okay, see. Okay, so, so I start with four. Then there's a prophecy about the warlock queen. What is it? So... Mm. There, there's a prophecy must be that, related to the tooth yeah it's it's definitely related um, the warlock queen we've heard that she's working with the dark lord um, because the rumor is that she will actually become the tooth fairy when mm, okay. uh, the dark lord reclaims his ring and the there is like the tooth fairy that exists currently is good is is like does you know things to help people but if the dark lord gets um, molar back, mm -hmm. back then the warlock queen will actually become the new tooth fairy and her intentions are purely mm -hmm. evil so there there's just we really need to to destroy her um because otherwise like the the pain It's the same thing that he did, and then evil's just gonna reign forever. That's sad. Yeah. All right. So, 
Um, so I start natively with four against a magic challenge. Then uh, my glowing axe gives me one against a spooky challenge. Our mysterious one. vision gives me another one against That's six. spooky. Uh, the story gives me one. And then I will ask for your help. All right. Ambie. Um. Wait. So we're facing this warlock queen, right? So that. Gives so we're me trying up to, to defeat. Ten. Like we're actually we're actually fighting her. Do what? Oh, yeah. This yeah. is our okay, final so fight. I am, I'm in fighting this deck. her. Um, I will help. We're just gonna, yeah, we're going all with out. With my daggers. We, 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 we um, used to let I know. The pain yeah. That is caused this situation at her spread teeth. anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Okay. okay, that sounds <laughs> Yes. For the love of God, please. Good morning, Kumi. And what? <laughs> I rolled one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're adding one. So how did Harry, Barry's vision guide us to success? Um, okay, so you and I, we had the warlock queen surrounded. Like, we thought we had this in the bag. And then we have been dealing with this whole time. Like, like, like back into our mind. And we're, like, kind of taking are really difficult but then in our minds a vision enters and that vision is of very blue jeans and when when you're thinking of those jeans that barry wears they're pretty tight you know what i'm saying <laughs> and the, the booty that barry booty his booty and uh, that is how we successfully defeated the war. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, so now we have a new... Okay, so that was your warlock queen. Oh, we have to defeat the Dark Lord, too! Um... Oh, no! Alright, yep, that's, that's tough. Yep, that's gonna be tough. Um, <laughs> Alright, but it's back to my turn. Um... And we have a new character, Merle. Uh, and <laughs> I guess I'm going for the Dark Lord because. <laughs> Ooh, Merle, Merle will help us recover health. That's good. Yes, but it doesn't matter because if we lose, we can. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so we have to defeat the Dark Lord. Um, yeah. I guess I'm just gonna go for that. Uh, we can have as many people help as we want, though. Uh, okay. But that means on your turn, you won't be able to get anyone to help. Uh. I mean, we. I'll, I'll go for the personal ghost then. Yeah, but it's still just so, that's still a tough oh, one. Oh wait, no, because if, if you I, fail, then we're done anyway. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so um, I'm going for the Dark Lord. Uh, so I have two as my regular strength, but it's plus one against. With my dragon scale armor, I get plus one against him. And also, when rolling to defeat this challenge, roll twice and use the best result. So that will help us. <laughs> but yeah, so yes, Dark Lord, definitely. growl. We're finally at his car in the train. And he he's looking ferocious he's, yo, with his teeth. He's still looking, yeah. looking for the ring. And we, we, we've been trying to get to <laughs> yeah, first, but like, we ran yo, into him You're looking for it too. What a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. As we look around shiftily, like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then um, he eyes our teeth with jealousy because we have very nice teeth. You know, an undead yeah, person. <laughs> yeah, oh, my. <laughs> no, for like... an undead person, my teeth are gorgeous. I mean, yeah. you can't see them that well. Here, pull up my character sheet, Dan. Like, I, I did not draw the teeth, but you all can imagine how good the teeth look, mm -hmm. right? Like, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, and my teeth. You can see, you can see right there <laughs> how beautiful you can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so, uh, yeah. So we're just grinning at him, mocking him, yep. trying to like lower his uh, 
just just get into his mind, you know, as we're going to attack him. Yep. Attacking him. And we say, you're never on. get you'll never get your hands on Molar again. Mm-hmm. All right, so you are helping? You are helping, correct? Yes, I am helping. And uh I think Merle is helping too. So we're at seven. <laughs> Wait, we need to roll a seven. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> That doesn't work. Even with that, I need to roll a seven. That doesn't help. Well, <laughs> I need to get a critical um, hit. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. So basically, it's coming down to two die rolls, one of which has to be a critical success. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So it didn't even. Well, based off our prior die We're rolls, this should it. go great. We're going for it. I got a critical hit once. You did, you do it. and you I did do too. Okay. We've both gotten one. A four. I wish we could add the die rolls together. I and know. a five. Ah, oh. see, four plus five I mean, those equals are good nine. Rolls. They they are. Why didn't we get these last time when we were haunting the ghost? Uh, all right, so we're at the we end of the line. Not the defeat the Dark Lord. Um, I mean, I I could theoretically spend my token to not die, but then, so we're not dead. But we, we're at, we've reached the end of the line of the train and we're like, oh no, the villain has escaped with the relic. And also, the, the internet, it's gonna turn off, oh no! All right, we're back. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> That was great. Um, <laughs> all right, well, we were internet. not successful in our adventure today. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie, that was real fun. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Uh, but that worked well. Like, the train worked well with um, keeping it stream length because... Um, I think my kids are waking up, but <laughs> yes, yeah, um, yeah. The the train is a good timing mechanism if you want yeah, this game to last. And we we would have obviously been able to go through this a little bit faster were we not playing That's on true. stream as well. This is a this is mm -hmm. a relatively quick game, I think, most of the time. Um, I'm I'm impressed. For a, I mean, this game does exactly what it should do, which is facilitate. Yeah an interesting story. And the decks that we used today, the Dark Lord, the Ring, and the Train, are only three mm -hmm. of, gosh, how many total oh. decks are there? There's a uh, lot, right? There's a lot. Wait, it, oh, it has the list of them in the rule book. Um, oh, wait, yeah. I can show here. Wait, where is it? Oh, here. So there's four of each, villain, relic, and location. So you pick one of each, um, each time. Yeah. So. So I don't know how four many different to combinations third. that is. Four total, times four but, times four uh, is sixteen times four, uh, which I can't. Sixty-four. Say, sure. Yes. Yes. Sixty-four combinations, um, and they give some suggested combinations for, like they they have a suggested first game, a slower one, a speed one, and then they have a bunch of suggestions online, which is where we got this one. Uh, yeah. The description so, for this one specifically says. It's called the Doom Express, the Dark Lord plus the Ring plus the Train. One does not simply walk into the land of shadow. One has to take the train. The Dark Lord has found the ring and just needs to get it home. Can you reclaim the ring and defeat the Dark Lord in time? The monsters on this train aren't working for the Dark Lord. They're just commuters and employees of the Doom Express. What the conductor is the or the conductor is the biggest troll. You'd best make sure you have your ticket. So they like even like with these setups kind of give you a little bit of story to start from if you want. We obviously mm -hmm. kind of crafted our own. Um, yeah. But like, if you are a person who enjoys storytelling games, but kind of needs a little bit of hand holding, so to speak, like you're not good at kind of just coming up with things out of thin air. This game is really good because it gives you those prompts and mm -hmm. like the questions yeah, to answer and it helps lead you. And I will say that um, it made it pretty easy for us. I, I was trying to throw in more puns than I probably should have, but that was, <laughs> you know, I yeah. wanted to... Uh, it that it leans into the adventure zone brand and my own brand a little bit. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and like for people who don't have the time to do like a full RPG type game, um, or like we're with a GM, 
uh, then this is good because it's fully cooperative and then the, the game with the cards kind of acts as your GM and you're all kind of like jamming together kind of. Yeah. So I, I think that works out pretty well. Uh, Kumi, other games that I would compare this one to, I actually would kind of compare this to Fog of Love a little bit. Obviously the like the subject mm. matter is very different because that's <laughs> two people in a relationship with one another, but the storytelling mm -hmm. is very similar in that you're using the cards and the prompts that come up to help craft a narrative. Um, so yeah, and in Fog of Love it's interesting because each player has their own goals that they're working towards so it even though it's cooperative there's little bits of not cooperativeness in it um but yeah i would say this is kind of similar um to fog of love in that respect uh mm -hmm. nick says there's plenty of room to add your own fun to this that is definitely true mm -hmm. <laughs> it was fun <laughs> yeah i really liked it 